hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to read input register values of your morbus tcp ip device in the python using pymorbus library okay and if you want to get the code of this video then you can click here and you can get the code so once you click here you will navigate to the github repository and here you will find the notebook which we are going to use in this video okay so let's get start with the reading of input register data in the python using pymorbus library so here is the notebook which i have created to read the input register data of any Morbus TCP IP device and I'm going to use this open Morsim software to simulate Morbus TCP IP device. This is the open source free Morbus simulator software which you can download from the GitHub okay and you don't have to pay anything and it is exactly working same as a Morsim software. Okay, now you can uh, use this software to create your Morbus TCP simulated device or you can create your Morbus serial simulated device. Now, if you want to create Morbus TCP simulated device, then you can uh, click on this connect button and here you can click on this Morbus TCP server. So it will create a Morbus TCP server on the port number 502 and you can see it is started. Now you can simulate any of the input register and you can read that data in the Python. Now I'm going to simulate very first input register with the maximum value 500. Okay, and that's it. Now you can see the first input register is simulating. Now we want Python to read this data. Okay, so let's understand the Python code. So first of all, we are installing PyMorbus library if it is not installed in your system. Okay, so once you run this cell by pressing shift enter, it will install the PyMorbus library in your system. And if it is already installed, then you will see the message like this requirement already satisfied. Then after we will import the necessary functions and library to create Morbus TCP client. So we are going to import Morbus TCP client function so we can create Morbus TCP client and we can read the input register data. Then after we are creating Morbus TCP client as you can see here Morbus TCP client and we are providing the IP address. I am going to provide the local host IP address because my Modbus TCP simulated device is running in my local host. So that's why I have provided the local host IP address. Okay. Now I can run this cell to create the Modbus TCP client. Now I can connect with the client and check the status that we are connected with the uh, Modbus TCP server or not. So if we are connected, then we will uh, have output like true. And if we are not able to connect, then we will have output like false. Okay. Now uh, here is the main uh, code to read the 10 input registers starting from 0 to 10 with the device ID 1 or you can say the slave ID 1. So in the result object we have used this uh, command or you can say the code so client dot read input register so it will read input register from our Modbus TCP device with starting address 0 the number of register we are going to read is 10 so that's why count is equal to 10 and the slave is 1 or you can say the device id is 1 if there is a device with single ip address and multiple device id then here you have to provide that particular device id for which you are going to read the data so right now i have only one device running for specific ip so that's why i am going to use the slave id as 1 okay now we can run this cell and here we can read very first input register you can see it's a 68 and if i want to print first 10 uh, input register data then i can use result dot registers now if i change the value to second input register to 55 and if i want to read it then how can i read it so i can again run this cell and instead of zeroth index i can use first index and i can run it and you can see 55 is available here and here also you can see 55 is available here instead of 10 if you want to read only one input register then you can use count one okay and if you want to read only uh first index input register or you can say the second input register then here you can use one so it will read only one input register starting with address one okay and here we have to use a zero okay you can see result dot register is equal to 55 and here we have used the starting address one so this 30001 has an index zero 
this 30,002 has index 1. So that's why we have to provide the index here. Okay. And the count is 1. So it will read only this 30,002 on the slave ID 1. Or you can say the device ID 1. And here you can see the mode based point type is input register. So it will read only uh, one input register which is 30,002. And here we can print the result. Okay. Which we have read using this command. So this is how you can use this Python script to read the input register data of your Modbus TCP IP device. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Okay, and if you want to get the code then you can click here and you can get the code. So now in the next video we will see how you can read input coil status value of your Morbus TCP IP device in the Python using PyMorbus library. So stay tuned for the next video. Till then take care, goodbye and thank you.